Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, fan scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Sanjin SG-104. This is an AM-FM stereo digital portable radio. You can find this particular model on Amazon for around $59.99. The older model, the PRD-18, is identical. This is a refresh, pretty much just a color change. Let's check it out. Comes in a different kind of box. I think these newer boxes are cheaper. I like the older style myself, but let's look at it. SG-104, picture of the radio. Since 1974. Nice. Another illustration of the radio. Sanjin, in case you forget their name. So the SG-104, there you go. It has protective bumper on it. That's kind of nice. Uh, they got some bullet points there you can check out. Uh, in case I missed something. It's all there for you. You got little icons there, auto scan, alarms, real time. So there you go, stereo, yeah. And SG-104, and then they got uh, their QR codes, in case you need to snap a shot of those. All right, cool. So I took everything out of the box to make it simple. So let's go show you what was inside. In the box, of course, you get the radio, and you get this tray, holds everything. The radio comes in this like, silk cloth bag protect it. It's a journey here. We get a user manual in multi-languages, and I think we get a warranty card. Let's check it out. So this little thing's empty. Kind of cool how it shows how the radio goes in there. Nice. All right, set that aside. So warranty card. I actually don't have a clue on how long this warranty is. <laughs> it's usually 90 days to a year. Um, okay, so it's one year on this radio. That's nice. There's smaller radios like the DT 200X and the DT400W, and I think the DT800 um, are all 90 days. Okay, so you get the idea. Warranty card. Uh, what else we got here? A piece of paper. What's the flying out of here? What is this? Book of War. I don't know. Okay, foreign languages. Not helping me much. <clears throat> Something important in French. Uh, very important. Please read. AC adapter that they don't give you, so I have no idea why they include this. It is not included with the radio. Yeah, okay. Moving on. We got the pamphlet for the radio. It's, uh, I don't like this style. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Especially to show on camera. But uh, we'll go over all these features. It's pretty basic and straightforward. Um, yeah, a bunch of warnings. And... Can I even get this thing open on camera? Not making a mess. So I get this on camera. So I get this up here, up close and personal. I think what I want to find is, okay. Well, there's a set the clock, set the alarm. Okay, this thing's just a big mess to handle. Um, let's see. Da, 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 sleep timer, headphones, key lock function. There's specifications. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> So there's some information for you guys, for the radio nerd in you. Can you get it all on there in one frame? There we go. Everything else, yeah, we'll, just, we'll hit on that. All right, set that aside. We got little bits fell off from the box. Nice. Okay, let's get to the radio. Now the radio's got this nice shiny black finish. Yeah. And it's dust magnet as well. Look at it. Dust right on there. Bugs me. <laughs> But shiny black plastics with this black bumper. I actually like how this looks in person. It's really sharp. They did gold lettering on it. Uh, the older model, the PRD18, is gray. It's kind of boring. It's got the black bumper. Now, they do have a white one with like a red and blue bumper. Uh, and they're still making it, I believe. So this is just, like I said, a refresh. I do like the uh, color combos. Let's kind of lower it down here. All right. So let's go over dimensions of the SG-104. Uh, where you have six and a half inches in length or four and a quarter inches in width and we have a depth of one and a half inches case front to back okay little size comparison real quick we have a cc pocket in the house to give you an idea nice so it's a fairly good size radio like the size of a small paperback book what else we got we got the cc skywave yep 
Awesome. What else we got? Deck cards. There you go. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can rock like no one can. He the Sanjin radios from California land. Which are made in China, man. <laughs> yeah, all radios are pretty much made in China. This is probably one of the best ones available on the market today that are made in China. Definitely a solid radio. Well made. I've taken one of these apart and just gorgeous looking inside and high quality components. So there you go. There's your size comparison. So let's go over features of the SG-104. Like again, it's pretty much the D18. If you have a D18, you're not going to miss much, but we'll go over it. Left hand side of the radio, we have the headphone jack for FM stereo listening. Now one thing I noticed with this radio versus the larger radios, and yeah, I think even the D19, this one here has low level hiss, which uh, I'm surprised by. I don't remember them having low level hiss, but maybe the D18 does. Um, but this one does have low level hiss. It's kind of annoying if you like listening to low volume. Uh, the FM has nice lows, strong mids and decent highs. AM has a low tone, which is good for talk and actually DXing distant stations. DC input, we have six volts at four tenths of an amp. Does not come with the AC adapter, which you have to order separate. And they should include that, I think, for 60 bucks. <laughs> definitely. I think the 18 might be cheaper, so definitely check that model out. Um, if, you, if you're not into the black, but I do like this black on black scheme. It looks good. Sharp. A quarter, uh, sorry, quarter. Yeah, quarter inch speaker. <laughs> Two and a quarter inch speaker. Nice. It's got good tonal quality. I like this. Sanjin. And it's like it looks like silver on the camera, but actually it's like a gold lettering, like a light gold. Over here is our LCD clock. As you can see, it says PM 1107. Uh, that can be changed to 24 hour, which is nice. Over here, we have the power button with the sleep function. Here we have the band key. If you look above there, it says step. So we press and hold this. It gives our firmware version. And if we keep press holding it, it'll actually go to the menu choices. So we can change the uh, stepping on FM from 100 kilohertz tuning to uh, 50 kilohertz tuning. So there you go. You can change it. Uh, the only reason why you want 50 kilohertz is if you live in a different country, or if you lived by my town, Chicago, they actually have a little power station that runs 8775. Tunes in perfectly when you have it with the 50 kilohertz tuning. Here we're on the AM band. You can change the stepping from 10 kilohertz to 9 kilohertz. And I think that's all you're going to be able to do there besides changing the clock from 24 hour to 12 hour. So we'll leave it on 12 hour. Okay. The buttons are like a rubber coated style. Um, not too bad. Tactile, they work well. A band button, of course, AM and FM. Our alarms, you saw the humane wake system, so it doesn't like just blare all of a sudden. It slowly amplifies in volume. <laughs> That's a good thing. Wake the buzzer or and wake the radio. So you can have both uh, alarms simultaneously activated. Over here we have the volume controls up and down. There are no tuning knobs or tuning wheels. So if that's not for you, then yeah, you might want a different type of radio, but this isn't bad. This works out really well for this type of radio. Here we have our tuning buttons, incremental tuning. So we can go up by steps. We can search, browse up and down. So press and hold, let go. It'll find the next strongest station. And of course we could press and hold and quickly go through the band. Here with the display function, as you saw me hit, this, when the radio is off, it pretty much puts the light on. If we press and hold, it'll set the clock. Down here we have five, band, uh, five preset buttons for the band. You get five per band, giving you a total of 10. Um, you get this rubber bumper, it goes all the way around the radio. Nice. Top of the radio, we got the FM antenna, which is a bad boy, 27 inches. This is the same antenna they use in all their bigger radios, like the D15, the D5, all the big bad boys that they have on the market, even the D19, of course the D18 as well. Um, expect excellent. Um, or near excellent FM reception. We're going to talk about that. On the back of the radio, as you can see, is dust magnet. Picks up dust off my ta table here. Um, but it's you know, what you get when you have high gloss. Frequency ranges. Okay. Model number. Digital receiver. And, of course, our battery compartment. We'll pop this open. Show you what's inside. There's four AA batteries. And for polarity, you can see the top row positives are to the right. And the bottom row, the positives are to the left. Very easy to put the batteries in. Very happy with that setup. Captured battery door so you don't lose it. There you are. So let's talk about FM reception before I turn the radio on and start tuning around. FM reception report. I always like to go over the radio's capabilities on FM because if I do an FM band scan, I got to be quick. 
I can't hover on the music. It's kind of annoying with the way they monetize things or demonetize you if you have a song playing for more than five seconds. Yeah, it's really a hassle. <laughs> but I like to go over the radio. I go to a certain spot in the house, uh, raise the antenna, I move it all around trying to get log every station I can find on the entire FM spectrum uh, that the radio provides, and I log every station found. Now, an average radio is typically like an old school radio, like uh, this GE over here. This gets about 48 stations. That puts it in a okay category, okay to good. I have five. It starts as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Yes, I've had a few fair radios, <laughs> some really crappers, and I've had some really good ones, the excellent. Um, so okay to good is right in the middle, and that's about average uh, in my area. Uh, this one here is well above average. This uh, scored very good, four-star rating. Yeah, uh, it came out to very good. Finding 83 stations, 85 puts it at very good to excellent, and 90 stations puts it at excellent. So it's very close to an excellent rating. Um, FM selectivity, uh, the ability to not wash out other bands, was also very good. There was only one station that overrid a couple bands. That's because it was a local station near me. Uh, so yeah, nice. Expect excellent FM. Uh, daytime medium wave reception. Uh, expect Excellent on locals, semi-locals, and distant stations. Yes, you can DX with this radio. It performs like a champ on the medium wave. Um, it, it's just a small radio with a lot of performance. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And uh, here we got. So we'll be greeted with, we have FM. I have 92.9. have memory one position. Battery life indicator. If I turn on my transmitter should get a stereo symbol. Now I want to clock. It does this. It defaults to clock. So if you want to go back to frequency, you just got to tap that. And let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not uh, coming up with stereo. It might be. Okay. No biggie. But anyway, I'm going to do a little audio demo. This is Radio Tatterbird. I'm using a FM transmitter here. C Cream. Transmitting at 92.9 and using the radio on the same frequency so you can hear YouTube royalty-free music. Let's go ahead and turn it up. Oh, now I know why it doesn't show it. You gotta have headphones plugged in, then the stereo symbol shows up. Yeah, I'm an expert. <laughs> Speaker sounds fantastic. Let's turn the lights off.
Yeah, excellent speaker. Wow. In person, it's blowing me away. This is great. <laughs> awesome. This is an awesome radio. Sanjins are great. Um, I love quality radios. Love picking these up. Um, comments uh, In the comments section below, you'll see a link to this radio. Um, if you want to check it out, help the channel. Enjoy this radio. It's a good time. So let's go ahead and do an FM band scan real quick. We'll see what we can get through. Um, the last Sanjin radio I did, I was finding a ton of FM stations. I don't know if that'll be the same case here. I'm going to raise this antenna all the way to 27 inches. There we go. I think it'll, yeah, it pivots up, so I'm able to do this. Nice. So we're going to start at the bottom of the band, see what we can pick up. We'll just do seek tuning. Okay, so we're going to go to the top here. Some volume. There's that local station that's 87.5. Here, let's uh let's change that to 87.5. That's the one station I was telling you about. And we'll change it to 50 kilohertz tuning just for this one station. Why not? Okay, so let's come on, get out of there. All right. So I can't hover, but uh, there you go. It comes in good at the 8775 low power station out of Chicago. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, I gotta turn it back to the 1 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz tuning. Do that. Holding down the band key, selecting the 100, cycling through the menu choices, and we'll get back to the radio being on. All right. Novelty records, even a genre. It's a big difference. For the first time, it hit me what this grace was all about. It's about a love that blazes so powerfully in the heart of God that he'd send his son Jesus to die for. On demand with no annual. Go up to 700. Benefits and empowerment for its members, a change from the past. I was at a closed school, and then the year later, I was at a receiving Surprising, it missed um, the strongest station. The right here. Come, or visit a store near you. Star 105.5. Star Music. Now. So, incremental. Browse. Punto nueve. And then uh, you can go to the station you want. So let's go to the station that passed a few of them. So let's see if I can't pick them up manually here. 93.1. Okay, let's go with 93.9. Okay, so reception downstairs here isn't good for this radio. But upstairs, Bunch of lucky vet. it was a chant. As you can see, there's quite a bit here on the FM band. Okay, so there's that. All right, cool. So that's just a quick little taste of the FM. Um, just trust me, it's an amazing radio on FM when you're in good conditions. This is, like I said, I'm a subfloor basement right now, so it makes it difficult to pull in some of those stations. Um, all right, so let's go ahead, and we're going to switch to the uh, AM band. So we're going to hit the band button. And it's at 780. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the band here just by pressing and holding, which is nice. And we'll see what we can pick up. Now, I'm going to do a couple band scans. I'm going to dedicate a daytime and an evening band scan uh, and use a passive loop with it. But for this one, we'll just uh, see what we can find uh, our normal targets on AM band. Uh, the current time is 11.21 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Let's turn it out and see what we can pick up uh, on the AM band. I think that everything turned off. It would cause interference. Okay, 
So here's 530 CHLO Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles away, 250 watts. Now, if you're not familiar with radio, portable radios, and this is new to you, and you're like, I really like this radio, I think it's neat, I'd like to have that in the house. Um, that back antenna is for FM only. There's an internal antenna for the AM band, and uh, it's a long ferrite rod wrapped with coil windings, and this radio looks really nice. Um, they actually shielded it from the display with a copper uh, piece, which is nice. Uh, so you get no noise from the radio, which is fantastic. That's why it sounds so clear. Um, and what you'll see me doing is pointing the radio around. And what I'm doing is I'm pointing the edge of that horizontal uh, orientation of that antenna towards the station I'm trying to receive. So if the station was to the west, um, it would pick it up. And if also the station was to the east, if I just left it like this, it would also pick it up to the east. We call that bidirectional tuning. Uh, but if it's to the north, I actually have to turn the radio to the north to get the station. You'll get to hear that in a second. So there's a station to the north here, WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. It's 70 miles away at 400 watts at night. So if we turn this, you'll hear him talking. Well, thank you, thank you for being vaccinated. I mean, just... It, it, it just proves everything. I mean, this is um, an amazing thing. Turn it away, it goes away. Now, there are some stations in this direction, just not picking them up clearly tonight. Keep going. Gun range carrying bags and Chico Metrics, experts in data security. So here's 560 WIND Chicago, local station. As you can see, AM band, frequency. Memory one position. That's pretty easy. Just press and hold. It beeps confirmation that you saved it. Again, you get five of those. We're always streaming at 560theanswer.com and on the AM 560 mobile app. You can also get us on. We're getting a Canadian station here on 580. If I'm right, I'll put a little pop up here. Let's go to some targets that uh, are a little bit distant. There's WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles to my south. Um, nothing sounds better than music on the AM band. I love it. Sounds great. So we're picking up WFAN here, New York, New York. This is 750 miles to the northeast. You hear it sounds kind of funny. That's because 670, the score, Chicago, is right next to it. And it's kind of overriding the signal a bit. And then at the top of the hour... He will get to Aaron Rodgers. I'll give you an update. So here's home of the Cubs, 670, the score, WCR. Already has diarrhea of the mouth as it relates to his future. You have him on as a guest. He was like, that's that's the guy you need to have on as a guest. Okay, this should be CFTR, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. It's the right direction. So there you go, TSN uh, 690, that's CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles, northeast. The WorkTruck.com has interviewed 150 fleet professionals, and these are people who... WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles to the east. Company like a local. Operations management, maintenance shop management. Uh, they even included some owner operators in their survey. Some of these are from the federal, state, or local government. Um, uh, about four days ago. 
Just picking up WOR, New York, New York. Hear that gentleman's voice. Yeah. And so we just made an executive decision to just try it. And um, so we cut him off of our hazmat. And I went 720 WGN Chicago. And I bought him some genius drops. Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles to the northeast. WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles to the south. Has really ratcheted up the tensions. I had no idea there were 13,000 dead over that period of time. In 2019, so that's good news. ISIS is also on the move. I mean, is there anything else? WGR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. I mean, the answer is yes, Taiwan. <laughs> 770 here is WABC, and if you wait, sometimes the signal will clear up. Come in. There we go. What part are you not seeing? These animals are opening fire in an emergency room. Guys, but a bitter cold, 14 below, well, inland, 2 below at the lakefront, sunny, and the 12 for the high tomorrow. Then Thursday, Here's 780 WBBM, Chicago. It's harsh with a snow shower in the afternoon. We'll get all the way up to... We're almost done with the band scan. All the more detailed ones. The speaker here, you can hear him just make them out. Uh, CKLW, Windsor, Ontario. 270 miles. Let's uh, I hope that the Center for American Liberty here wins the case and these teachers get fired and prosecuted. WGY, Albany, New York, 740, 740 miles away. Hey, Norm WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, coming in kind of weak. So here's KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles, coming in better than Louisville was. Music from this station, CJBC was kind of pushing an 850 a bit. Uh, this is Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles, French speaking. Cameron, Hank Aaron had to say about Barry Bonds. I said that in detail. Here's WWL 870, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles to the south. I'm in a good area where I can pick up quite a bit around me. Get over it. Ron is calling from Miami. You're on CBS 4. Great mistake that will potentially... And I will just go all the way to the top of the band. I can just press and hold and it'll go really fast. And I will just go to the top and then we'll do final thoughts here. So yes, yeah, it's nice being able to quickly get through the band. It's supposed to be C H H A. Let's go with seventeen hundred. Okay, that's cool. The Hispanic music um, is coming out of Richardson, Texas. Let me just turn that down. I don't want to hover on that. Believe it or not, you can't hover on the Hispanic music either. <laughs> K K L F, Richardson, Texas, seven hundred and ninety miles. Um, that's coming in strong. It's the strongest I've heard it. I think. So yeah, this radio is powerful all the way up to the top of the band. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Okay, cool. There it is, the SG-104 in all its glory. It's sharp looking. I like it. It's a really nice looking radio, guys. <laughs> I'm really impressed with it. Um, so there it is. Uh, like I said, links below in the comment section. Also in the video description if you guys want to support the channel. Um, if $59 is a little too rich, check out the PRD-18. It's the same radio. If you like those color choices, pick one up. You're going to get the exact same internals and uh, get the same experience on that radio. 
and save some money probably. Maybe even pick up a renewed example. I saw a renewed one of the new model too already. So maybe I had a blown speaker and I replaced the speaker from Sanjin. You might be able to pick this radio for like around 45 bucks. That's not bad. I really like this radio for that. Uh, perfect um, as a gift for somebody. Perfect for a small room. Yeah, definitely has some good punch with the speaker. I like that. So there it is. SG-104 gets a recommended buy all day long on my book. There's a few things I wish they would have done, like added a menu button for this refresh. It gave us like maybe 25 presets per band. That would have been nice to have. Oh, that was like, that's the biggest thing that uh, they, om they omitted. And of course, including the AC adapter. That would have been nice also. But those are my little gripes. Uh, but otherwise, it does get recommended by. It's, it's a great little radio. Um, two, if you like Sanjin radios, you want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews from Sanjin. I definitely am going to pick up a few more. Uh, they're doing a lot of refreshes with new color choices, and I find it a way to uh, reintroduce the radio to the channel for those who haven't seen this radio before. And three, comment below what you think about the SG-104. Do you have one? Are you going to buy one? Do you have a PRD-18? Are you happy? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.